What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, what's going on? You know who it is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm in a building. I'm doing another video. And today I'm talking about ISIS. Again, man. See, people need to understand ISIS. Let me screw it up. ISIS is a serious situation because let me adjust this real quick. So. There we go, right about there. ISIS is a serious situation because now America is getting all paranoid. By the time you read, watch this video, the UK has declared their threat level as severe because of ISIS, and ISIS is reportedly has units. I mean, they're probably here too. You don't know. They're probably here in the States. But now, here's how bad ISIS has shook stuff up. Oh, I worked out today, this morning for everybody else, so it's getting a little stiff and sore. Here's how bad ISIS has really become. ISIS is so bad that the Iraqi, well, he's ex now, his Prime Minister Malawaki, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it right, somebody else can correct me, he has stepped down. Under protest, stuff like that. Al Malaki has stepped down because in Iraq there was he was he's like I explained it before in our videos. He's a Shiite in Iran. The supporting Iran's mostly a Shiite Muslim. It's like it's like Muslims like are like no different than Christians. They had your different branches, different sects. You want to say sects? Well, Malaki was a Shiite. And he wasn't really divulging any type of power. He wasn't like helping in like the Sunnis or the Kurds or the, the Yazidis, whatever they are, the one of the Christian Iraqis up north also. They, he wasn't really bringing them into the fold. So after a while, you know, it, it was discouraging. And we were talking about this. And I said about this in a video before. He promised and I and, and I said I said a lot of stuff I'm saying now is happening. He only did it before he would say, well I'll have a coalition government and whatever and whatever. But here's what happened. Our ISIS has shook shit up. And let me explain. Y'all should know ISIS by now. They're the guys with the black flag. The guys that are starting to behead people. They beheaded that uh, reporter Foley. They beheaded uh, another lady, I think. But what they're doing is ISIS was a. Now, here, here's the thing what you got to understand ISIS. And, and let me go back further for the American standpoint, from our standpoint. We gave Syria $60 million. We didn't give Syria per se. We gave Syrian rebels to fight Assad $60 million. I did a video on that that people should have paid attention to. I did a video called something like we gave $60 million to Syria, which put went to Detroit. Detroit's another topic for another day. I'll discuss that one. But we gave $60 million to Syrian rebels to fight Assad. Now, while that simmered down, all of a sudden, ISIS grows up out of the grave and comes into Iraq. In the beginning, it was the ISIL, and now it's the ISIS. See, me personally, I believe this. How do you think all of a sudden ISIS got all this stuff? How do you think ISIS got all this? A lot of their weaponry is Western technology. And like I said before, Saudi Arabia and Qatar are backing these players because what they want to do is they want to divide Iraq into three joints. They want to divide Iraq where Iran gets its part of it, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, and maybe Kur Turkey gets Kurdistan or Kurdistan's a separate end, or maybe Syria takes that part, you know what I mean? But back to Malak, like I said, look, he, he had to resign because this dude, Malaki, he was Bush's hand-picked guy to run Iraq. Let's just say something. But this is George Bush and I'm not senior junior. He was Junior's hand picked dude to run Iraq. You know, but his unwillingness, like the, the share political power with the rest of the country, and he only decided to share it when ISIS came calling. Which well, wasn't smart. He should have shared it in the beginning. I mean understanding power corrupts and you can see what happens now. But ISIS are some bad dudes. ISIS, like I said. 
they're, they're not taking names, man. It's either you, you go their way or you go the highway. I mean, it, it got to the point where America had the bomb, which, which, which gets me, and that's another thing I want to talk about later down the road. America, whenever the, the, the Iraqi Christians were getting, you know, maybe served up or going, about to get carved up, then we would, then America decided to bomb. Why can't we do it any other time? Did they, they just have to be Christians to do something? I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. It's just a question. You know, but back to Malaki, he's protesting because he doesn't agree with this. He even told the military leaders to stand down because I think the military leaders were going to stand down. It, 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 you got to figure, you got ISIS taking Mosul and they're on their way to Baghdad. Pretty much the chance they're going to stand down. They like to have their funny baloney jobs too. So, this is something you, I keep talking about this topic, but people need to really watch this topic. This is ISIS coming. ISIS is in the building. Like I said before, and, and everybody calls calling people like myself crackpots. We're not looking so crazy now, are we? Alright, I'm out. Oops.